Let's have a close look at the iPhone 8. One look at this device and most people are gonna term it the iPhone 7 as other than the new shades and an all new glass back design, there's not much new on the outside. Unlike the much anticipated iPhone 10, the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus retain the Touch ID fingerprint sensor and it's rock solid, fast and secure as always. The button layout is similar to most previous iPhone models and the only thing new is the glass back which is a fingerprint magnet. The design of the iPhone 8 is a departure from the unibody aluminium designs of the iPhone 6, 6s and the iPhone 7. The iPhone 8 still has the lightning connector and Apple has still not ditched it for USB Type-C. The color options have now changed and we no longer have our favorite space grey, but we do have a new blush gold color. This one is the slate grey, charcoal like looking black variant. I am a huge fan of cute compact phones and the iPhone 8 thanks to its elegant curvy design is already there on my favorite list. Even though Apple claims the glass is stronger, I wouldn't dare drop this phone. We have a new 4.7 inch true tone adaptive display with a wide color gamut P3. The viewing angles and the color reproduction is excellent both indoors and outdoors and the display is beautiful. The speakers have been updated to sound more richer and slightly louder. It would have been incredible to see the new OLED display which features in the iPhone 10 in the iPhone 8 as well. But this display is still nevertheless very very good. Like most recent iPhones, the iPhone 8 blazes through every task that you throw at it. Be it watching YouTube videos, playing subway surfers or even surfing the web. The iPhone 8 can handle it all without heating and while delivering excellent performance and in a very efficient way. These massive performance and stability updates are because of the A11 Neural Bionic chipset. We shouldn't forget to mention that iOS is a great blend of hardware and software working together in harmony. I was very surprised to find minimal heating even during augmented reality application usage and even shooting 4K videos at 60 frames per second. We get solid battery life which is a great improvement over the iPhone 7 but only time will tell how good the battery life actually is. The glass back of the iPhone 8 allows it to be one of the first iPhones to finally have Qi enabled wireless charging. Wireless charging is indeed very cool and I was bound to test it on the iPhone 8. All you need to do is place your iPhone 8 on the Qi enabled wireless charging pad and the phone starts charging. The orientation and direction does not matter. However, wireless charging is slow and so you're better suited with a wire for now. As expected from any iPhone, the camera on the iPhone 8 is beautiful indeed and the rear camera is a 12 megapixel sensor with a large sensor size. The front camera is a 7 megapixel sensor with electronic image stabilization. I'll be making a dedicated video on the camera of the iPhone 8 very soon so do stay tuned and subscribe to see that. Here's a small glimpse of the wonderful pictures that the iPhone 8 captures. And the moment I took the first selfie using the iPhone, I had a big smile on my face thanks to the rich color reproduction. To quickly tell you in a nutshell, the iPhone 8's camera is definitely the best camera out there right now. The iPhone 8 packs in some crazy video specs and we have 4K video up to 60 frames per second, 1080p slow-mo up to 240 frames per second. Be sure to subscribe and have a look at my camera review as the iPhone 8 has a demolishing camera. Augmented reality is the next big thing and the iPhone 8 packs in AR which we are gonna test right here, right now. My friend is gonna play an augmented reality game which I'll link in the description below. If you plan on playing an augmented reality app, be sure to ensure that there are no poles or obstacles around as you don't wanna hit your head. The objective of this game is to feed pigeons and not scare them away. I'm sure we'll have a lot more interesting apps on the augmented reality platform on App Store very very soon. The iPhone 8 is a wonderful phone at a very hefty premium price. It retails in the US for 649 US dollars, which is roughly rupees 43,000, and in India it retails for rupees 64,000. If you want the iPhone 8, get it from the US. Throughout my usage of the iPhone 8, I never felt like I was using a brand new device. I felt like I was using any other iPhone, and this is both a good and a bad thing. 
It speaks volumes of the quality of the software and hardware integration and I'm happy that Apple is providing all iPhone users a similar robust interface. However, this iPhone comes packed with power in a very beautiful design, features a very polished OS that receives the fastest updates in the world, has two incredible cameras that can replace your traditional point and shoot cameras and it is a very fluid device to use overall. Waiting a bit will definitely knock the prices down, but if you want to invest on a high-tech phone, the iPhone 8 is hands down the best phone available right now.